Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another competitive video. So we have faced Tribe Gaming in the last two videos and we are giving you guys the trifecta, the third in a row competitive video versus Tribe Gaming. And this one obviously has a lot of stakes as it is the Queso Cup final. So there are, I think, I think the total of money on this is 4,000 euros, which is roughly 5,000 US dollars riding on this match between the first and second place prize. First gets 2.5 thousand euros, second gets 1.5 thousand euros. So I'm pretty sure both teams, you know, they're eating well, you know, they we're out here, you know, we're, we're getting our bread, but we obviously want that first place prize. It's not just about the money, it's also about beating the other team and, you know, just being proud of yourself that you can beat, you know, the other really good team in North America. Um, and with that being said, we had in, in very, very, very intense series. So we're gonna be showing you guys the game. With that being said, let's just hop right into it and show you guys what's up. Going into the first game before I forget, the bands are Sprout, Ash, Poco, and Buzz. So four, you know, just pretty obvious and mainstream bands. Now before I get a little bit further into this, all of the goats on Brawl YouTube always tell me this and I always forget. But I have a code, it's code Bobby. I think majority of you guys know that, but just a reminder that if you guys use my code, it would help out a ton. Like it does for every creator, but you know, you know, I'm not as big as some of the other ones. So you guys using my code, which some of you guys already do. I appreciate it a ton. It helps out a ton. Uh, but I don't want to spend too much time talking about this. Let's get right into the game. So I won lane really early against Tyrant. We knew they were going to go Rico right side because literally every single team in NA, in EU, even in Asia, basically go Rico on the right side. And I know Tribe has expressed that they don't really like the new Brock. It is extremely difficult to juke, in which I can agree 100%, but I think they're just not too accustomed to it yet. So we decided to bring out the Brock on the left side to mirror the Rico. And then we didn't know what was gonna be on the right side, so we just threw our Rico over there because it's good into everything. And then we had a bow mid because the mines are really nice, the totem can block gene pulls, and bow is just, you know, it's a pretty decent brawler into everything. They have an 8-bit, and their goal here was to give the 8-bit stew speed, which is a really smart idea. It was meta a while ago. Tribe has kind of been bringing it back a little bit. They run it pretty often. Um, and it's basically just giving the 8-bit speed, so what it lacks in before it gets turret, and then once it gets turret, you know, you don't really need to help the 8-bit with speed because it has its own speed. Um, now, Tyrant's been doing okay this game, but being a Brock on Rico is pretty easy for me. Zara is also holding his own against Zulan, which is pretty difficult because Rico v Stu is not the most fun matchup for a Rico, but I don't think Zara's even died at this point, so he's doing really good. We're able to take down Tyrant, and then we take down this, I think, final speed turret, which is a really big deal. And then we can get the taps over there on Cory, which is really easy. Those are just auto-aim shots by me. And then here, this is just kind of free. We're just shooting at them when they're running forwards towards us. It's really hard, again, to juke a Brock. So when they're just running in a straight line and they don't really have a choice of where to go, it's just really easy to get those taps. That's going to be a really good first game for us. Really, you know, well planned out with the comps. Really well done. That's going to be game one. So let's hop over into game two. Show you guys the disappointment of what happened. Now, I know I might have spoiled this game a little tiny bit by saying it was a disappointment, but I need you guys to understand why I spoiled this. Supposedly, this game was my fault. Apparently, this game was STMN Bobby's fault. So I want to watch the entire game with everyone on the same page, all the viewers, so you guys can tell me if I'm going crazy or if I'm wrong. So I got a kill to start the game. I get another kill over there. I get another kill over there. So we're doing really well. Now we have a brawler behind us. I believe, yeah, it's a stew. So there's just a stew behind us. It's not really doing anything. Zar picks up the kill over there. Me and OG are just lurking in the bushes right now. We're chilling. Tyrant comes out of the bush. He's trying to get some shots off. He does a decent clip. OG goes down here to Tyrant. So Tyrant now moves into our spawn. Meanwhile, while this is happening, I kill Cory. I kill Zulon, whatever. And then Zar gets full clipped, goes down. Then I try and get Tyrant. I go down, and apparently that's my fault. I don't know how, I can't explain it to you guys, but I was getting hard blamed in the VC, and I was not very happy with it. Either way, you know, we can still win this game. Now here, this, they didn't even see this, this is not what they were talking about, but personally, I threw here. So I thought I was two shots away from my super, which is the bat. So I go to Tyrant, and then I hit one shot, and then I try and super and I just die. If I hit Tyrant with one more shot, I think I can kill Tyrant with my bats and then run away, maybe not. But either way, you know what? This game isn't my fault. I refuse to be blamed for this game. I'm not happy being blamed for this game. Um, 
We almost get the countdown. We were very close. Unfortunately, though, we weren't able to. And I didn't even talk about this the entire time. But our comp is such a hard counter into their comp. When you ready up on Max, Rosa, and Mortis in a competitive game, you are praying that the other team has a Piper mid. And they literally have a Piper, this pink Piper tribe Cory. They have a Rico, they have a Stew. Like, this was such a free win for us, and we threw it so ridiculously hard. And obviously, going up 1 0 against such a good team like Tribe is such a big advantage because you only need to win two more sets while they need to win three, and you want every advantage you can get. So let's hop into game three and show you guys what happened there. So going into game three, we decided to half copy their comp. So we were going to go with the 8 bit and the Stew, and then the Brock on the left side. And this is where they get their kind of like little revenge on us. Now, they have a Mortis and a Rosa. And instead of the Max, they elect to go with Byron. And Zar gets a really clean start. We have Tyrant kind of just in our base right now doing his thing. But me and OG, we get a really nice pinch on him over here. We're able to get him. Zar goes down. But this is a really good start. The starts are usually a little bit slow for 8-bit. And then as the game progresses, that's when you start to get control and do really well. But we have a 1-0 lead to start off the game. I have no clue how Zulon dash that fast considering he lives in puerto rico i need to watch this again i don't know how he dashed that fast considering he lives in puerto rico and his ping is considerably high i would assume because he lives there but i don't know that was kind of some crazy dashes tyrant kills us at 1k hp so gets a nice kill over there on our stew and now you know we have our turret so we're in a decent spot except tyrant's kind of planted in our bushes right now um, I'm able to just walk up and get a kill on Zulon, and now they just have to pinch out Tyrant and try and get him out. Unfortunately, though, Tyrant is doing a really good job back there, and, you know, there's not too much that we can do about it. Tyrant right here is really low. We're able to get a pinch and a really nice kill. So, again, this game is very winnable for us. I know OG's having a little bit of a difficult time, like, picking up the gems because he's just a slow 8-bit. There's not much he can do. He doesn't have his TP. So, I moved forward. I picked up a gem. We get a nice super over there on Zulon, and now Tyrant is coming forward, and... You know, he just pops his super, he gets a kill, Zulan gets a kill, and that's going to be the game right there. OG's going to try and make a play, but he's going to go down, and that is going to be it for game number three, because there's just no way of coming back. And to be honest, I was also blamed for this map, saying that there was a Rosa. I was told a Rosa was in our spawn for the entire game. I did not see a Rosa in our spawn the entire game, and I don't know, somehow this set was my fault, apparently, but... You know what? It happens sometimes. So we're going to go down one nothing in sets to Tribe. Obviously a place you don't want to be considering how good of a team they are. Um, but we still got four sets. Maybe if we make it to, the, to set five to go. So let's show you guys it and uh, let's see what happens. So going into set number two, they're going to start off with the Mortis, Byron, and Rosa. Now we kind of expected this uh, because there's really only two comps that you can go here for the most part that are good which is a tank comp or the comp that we have right now, which is very similar to the comp that we played in the monthly finals and won on this map, except we have a B, which is even more anti-tank. So we basically just have a full anti-tank comp right here. The goal with our comp is basically just to hold lane, hold position, slowly break the map open. And once we break that map open, there should be nothing a Mortis, a Rosa, and a Byron can do into us. Now, the good thing actually about the comp that Tribe has that actually is a little bit weird to think about is the Mortis and the Byron are actually kind of good into tank counters. So, Brawlers like B or Brock, which is now a tank counter all of a sudden, or Spike, not so much for the Mortis with Spike, but the Byron is really good into all of those. So, even though they get countered, which they definitely do get countered in this game, I don't want to make it seem like they don't get countered. Um, it's still definitely winnable, and I think that's really smart on their end to pick a cop that's still winnable into counters. And you're going to see they actually do a pretty good job. So at this point, again, we're just trying to open up the map. We're trying to hold position. Overtime is obviously where we're going to do a lot better because everything is gone. But we're just trying to hold until then. Tyrant's trying to make a play onto Tooney. We're able to get that kill, and then Corey almost makes an unreal play. Same with Zulon, but unfortunately... <sighs> They score. Now, we, we almost stopped it, but Corey had a crazy double super over there while trying to heal Zulan. So, that's going to be a really nice play by Tribe. And we now have one minute to score a goal. Um, so, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Because although we do counter them, we're now losing. So, instead of doing what we were doing before and just sitting back and holding position, now we're just trying to go aggro. OG sneaks up the left side. I don't really know how they left him there. We're going to watch it back. Let's see what's going on. So, we get a kill. 
I guess they just weren't trying to get hit by the 3k shot. They just leave OG and then OG is going to put that in the net. So really only 20 seconds it took us to when we went aggro to get a goal. Which kind of leaves me thinking, why don't we always just go aggro and try and get a goal if we can just score in 20 seconds? But it's probably because the map was open and we were playing a little bit panicked. We were able to pick up a kill over there on Zulon and then Ty er, yeah, Tyrant goes down to Toonie or OG. I don't know which one. I think we could have scored that. We messed it up. They cornered the ball and this game is very, you know, obviously now going to go to overtime. I don't really know what our lanes should be. I feel like the Brock is kind of the worst in overtime because you have a B, which is obviously just insane, and then a Griff, which is obviously just insane. So I think what their goal was was to try and get the Brock. Now, Zulon could have gotten a kill over there if he just used his bats. I don't know if he knew he had bats or if he tried to click it and just didn't go off, but he had a kill over there. He has another one actually right here on Toonie. He elects to save his bats. I probably would have went for it because the Griff is just such a menace in overtime. And Toonie actually makes a mistake here, which I didn't even notice. Which he took a little bit of time to regen, but then he only regen a little bit. So he was still one shot to Bats or a Byron or a Morta shot. Maybe because Corey was using the other Byron uh, star power, which nobody really uses, which just narks your healing. But I'm not sure. That's a little bit of a mistake. But either way, it doesn't really matter. We're able to kill Zulan over there. Tyrant's moving up. OG's going to play the ball forward. 20 seconds left. And I knew they would fall for, the, for this, so I just pick up the ball. I supered it on the short side. That one was just kind of easy to read. I knew the Mortis would try and go for the ball, so I just picked it up, walked forward, and put it on the short side. Looks like a nice goal, but it was pretty simple. Honestly, I just walked forward and aimed. Uh, but that's going to be game one. It was a really big win for us and a really good decision to go the anti-tank. So I'll show you guys game number two, which is just the complete out comp on our end. Let's hop into it, show you guys what's up. Now, we've had three complete out comps, and we're only one and one, losing in gem, and then barely winning in overtime of Brawl Ball. So just because we out comp definitely does not mean we are going to win this game. But what we did expect was some type of mid, whether it was Brock, whether it was Bell, whether it was B. We were expecting one of those three. We didn't think they were going to Poco double tank again. And then we even, the, but we were ready for it. But we, I don't know. We just didn't think they were going to do it. So we went with the Surge because the Surge would have been good into any of that. And we knew they were 100% going to run the Brock. So he's going to be able to pick up a kill over there on the right side. And he kind of trades out, but that's good considering... You know, he, he gets his level and the Brock doesn't really gain anything from that. I'm just trying to break this right side because they have a spike. And now we knew they would have two anti-tanks. So we changed to Squeak, which is a very risky pick. Because if they run tanks, I mean, Surge is good into tanks. Brock is good into tanks. But Squeak isn't. We would have lost. But we got the outcomp right. And then right there, I score a really nice goal. OG kind of slows them with his Squeak super. And, you know, the star power does the slow. And then I just, you know, walked forward, auto aimed the shot forward. And, uh killed one which would have blocked the shot so it was a really nice goal we have two pretty nice goals so far right here they advance the ball a little bit but they with their comp it's a, it's a little bit squishy it's a little bit difficult to score unless they fully team wipe and they didn't fully team wipe but right here they are in a crazy position they're up really high they're hitting a lot of shots specifically Zulan right now and they're just doing a really good job at just holding us back but at the same time we're doing a really good job at just one by one coming out of our net and not allowing them to do anything Toonie's going to put the ball safely in the corner, which is really well played by him. And he still has one gadget at this point. I don't know if they know he has one gadget, but he's going to pop it. He's going to get the kill. And I remember this in VC, too. And he's like, damn, I really just threw my power three. Because now he doesn't have any more TPs. And he jumped, died for no reason. He puts the cry pin. He's going to be hard stuck level two, basically, for the rest of the game, unless Tribe makes a mistake. He's really good with his bush juke. So he's kind of just chilling in the bushes right now. He's doing his thing trying to be sneaky and then he pops out and if he only had that power three i know you're watching toonie don't do that ever again he would have been perfectly fine but either way he's going to be able to get it back right there leave tyrant at one shot and he's going to go down but it leaves me with a really easy trade on tyrant Corey's low zulan's low and look how easy the game is for toonie once he's tier three it's almost like he can just kill them all it's very incredible to watch mr toonie but that, this is just a really well played set by us it was two out comps out comp is just as important as playing good playing with your brain is something that we've been trying to do as of late um and a lot of it is random like we don't know what tribe's gonna go they don't really know what we're gonna go it's random but you can try and be smart with it so this is a really good set for us clean 2-0 one one in sets now so let's go into the next map and show you guys what it is all right so going into bounty this game is also just as triggering. This, to be honest, there was a lot of triggering games. 
going on. I wish I recorded the VC. I think I'm going to start recording the team chat basically every single time um, because like it's just it's just too funny. Like the with the stuff we're saying, the stuff we argue about is just absolutely hilarious. Anyway, so we go poke. We sorry, not poke double tank. We just go with triple tank, or I should say double tank plus Mortis. We get a lot of early kills, and they have Brock, Bell. And Piper and now with the recent buff to Brock Brock can almost kind of be seen as a tank counter um, So, you know their comp isn't too bad into ours But I would take our comp into theirs 10 out of 10 times. So again, I believe they get countered I don't want to make it seem like they don't get countered because they definitely do but it's definitely winnable and You guys are gonna see that here What's important with tanks is you kind of just play as a team going in one by one is not the strat And that's exactly what we're doing this entire game just going in one by one not playing too smart playing like i don't know we look like patchy and sans right now playing like we we're usually pretty good at this stuff but we're playing it really horribly zulan misses a curve right there i'm trying to stay alive i managed to stay alive but we keep going in one by one we're never going to achieve anything doing this i i don't know this is just this is just not it like they're just breaking the walls tapping us we're trying to make our way up we're trying to juke trying to do everything like that but they're just hitting their shots it's crazy um, I almost get the kill over there. Toonie's gonna be able to clean it up. And we're only actually down seven stars, although they've killed us a hundred times. So it is still a winnable game. I believe at this point, I just want to try and get my bats. So, or no, I'm trying to bait Zulon's jump, actually. So I go forward. He doesn't jump. A little bit toxic by him, but I think he didn't jump because it was just a horrible attempt by me. Like, it took me two dashes to get close, and I didn't even hit him. Uh, my team's gonna move forward. You know, we're, we obviously are going for this wipe, but it's just it's just not happening. There's no way we can get it done. We get a Mickey Mouse kill at the end. Lose by nine stars. And that is going to be game number one. Lost, even though we out comp them. You know, just very well played by them. They played it perfectly. They did a really good job. And that's the thing with Tribe is a lot of the time they get out comp and they just play it perfectly and win. So they don't really have to worry too much about out comping because... If they're beating us with this counter, they're beating everyone in NA with this counter. So they can kind of just beat everything. I don't know. It's really weird. But anyways, let's hop into the next game and let's keep going. So going into game number two of the match, OG really, really, really wanted to play Edgar. Me and Toonie really, really, really didn't want to play with an Edgar. But you know what? The most persistent prevailed, and that was OG. So we have an Edgar on our team. I didn't want to play with an Edgar because we're facing Tribe Gaming. I don't think we've ever pulled out Edgar against Tribe Gaming in any map. Maybe in Split one time, but that's it. As I've said probably 16 times this video, they're incredible players. They're extremely hard to beat. And as you guys can see, OG, like, he can't shoot Corey. So Corey just walks across the entirety of the map. And just shoots out me and Toonie's lane. So we're just getting pinched. We have nowhere to go. And we're losing 3-0 to start off. Like, it's not really an excuse to lose lane. But at the same time, it's so hard to win lane when you also have a tick shooting at you. It's, I don't know. It's just, I don't, I don't think Edgar was the play. I think it's pretty evident here that Edgar wasn't the play. But we're still trying. You know, we're still trying to win these lanes. I got curved for no reason. It's very toxic of you, Zulan. I don't really appreciate that. Again, I have nowhere to go, so I'm going to go down. OG does pick up a kill over there, though, and he is being a little bit of a distraction, so now we pick up two kills right there. If OG stays alive, it's a one-kill game, and we take the lead, and this would have been the kill right here, so we actually could have taken the lead. Now, again, it's not OG's fault that he got hit by a Piper shot while hiding in a bush. Zulan could have shot anywhere. We don't know. Um, it just sucks, but the Edgar pick, that also sucks. We should not have an Edgar on our team. Anyways, I go down trying to go aggro, but we have to push into them, but it's just a 2v3 and they have a tick that can shoot over walls. Like, it's just not a winning recipe for us whatsoever. We're trying to move up here. We're trying to gain some positioning. Smart wall break over there by Tyrant, even though he kind of misses it. Now, OG's going to go in. He's going to be able to pick up a kill, but again, the tick is just so annoying. We can't reach the tick. The only person that killed the tick, I think, was OG barely, and then me that one time. But we just can't, just can't reach the tick. There's nothing we can do. So we're gonna go down here. It's gonna be two to one in sets. I feel like we kind of just gave them two sets. In gem grab, we should have won very easily with that max comp, which we lost, and then we just went a comp that we knew we would never win with, no matter what we played it into, and then we lost the game where I think we countered them. So two sets now out of three. I believe we should have won, and we just tossed about the or tossed to them. I know you guys could hear the saltiness in my voice right now about these sets, but 
it just blows my mind how we're just throwing away these sets that we should win and just not saying that we should have won bounty but that we could easily win or do a lot better and just giving tribe gaming the best team in our region free sets like we can't do that that's just not a recipe for beating tribe but either way we still have five sets to play with we're only down two one so it's possible to win so let's hop into the next set show you guys what happened going into the first game of set number four we elect to go with griff surge and rico tanks are the meta on this map just like straight up just like tanks are very good um, so we wanted something that counters tanks. It's it's a little bit obvious that we would have gone tanks because Toonie's in the game. We like Toonie's just an unreal tank player. He beats counters like half the time. I don't know how he does it. Um, so we wanted to go anti-tank first. They're gonna go with the tank comp. We killed Zulan really early on in our lane. Toonie kind of just suicided to get his um, his power up surge tier, whatever we want to call it. So he's already tier three. He's doing a good job. I'm winning this right lane pretty easily. Um, you know, Zulan's obviously a fantastic player, but there's no way Zulan is walking into my zone as a Jackie when I'm a Rico on right side split. Like, it's just not happening. And regardless of what I'm saying, Tyrant does move up. I do this every time with my super. I always waste it, and it annoys me so much, and I do it every single time. But OG's going to bail me out over there on that right side. We have it basically completely locked down. I'm being told to go on the left now because this is the lane that we have to win while OG just holds down the right. Tyrant literally just walks in a straight line and kills OG, which is kind of unfortunate. And I'm getting 2v1 over here. But it's yeah, it's pretty chill. We're able to take out Corey. Trying to get a super off. Miss Zulan. We're going to go down at 99, but Toonie's just going to TP in there. Going to be a nice kill for Toonie. And it's going to be a one to nothing set lead now for us. So we only need to win one more game. And then we head on over to the all-important set number five. Let's hop into the next game show you guys what happened so going to the next game we elected to go with the tank comp because the tank comp is broken whether it's two tanks or one tank either way it's it's the meta on this map there's no way around it um we went with one tank and i'm gonna rico on the right side i haven't lost rico lane on this side in way too long so i'm just like we're gonna i'm gonna go rico it's pretty easy a lot of missed shots here look at me and zulan go like we're supposed to be two good ricos look at us we're actually horrible at the game both of us <laughs> like, this is so bad. This is so hard to watch. I throw up a, a heart Rico because of how... Like, look, this is actually atrocious gameplay from us. We spent 30 seconds just absolutely whiffing each other from, like, four tiles away. It's just... This is not the gameplay that we'd like to see. Meanwhile, let's go back. Let's go back. I don't want to spend all the attention on myself while this game-changing play happens. Toonie is just chilling. He's vibing. And then all of a sudden, bam, he runs out. Jukes the super, gets both Cory and Tyrant low. OG finishes the kill while me and Zulan are just tying, doing nothing. OG's trying to give me a heal. I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. I'm, I won't lose this lane. I'm fine. Zulan's going to walk forward. Uh, pretty easy kill over there. Like Walking into the zone, it's, it gets a lot easier when they come into the zone for me. I don't know. Um, I guess because I just have to click the auto aim button to kill them. But, you know, the left side, they're they're making their way. They're doing a really good job. They can take as long as they want on that right side. It's I'm not losing Rico v. Rico on this side. It's just not happening. I hate to break it to you, but it's, it's just way too easy. I just have to shoot this wall over and over. I have three gadgets. Like, there's no way to lose this side for me. Um, Corey is doing a really good job. I'd like to say Corey and Tyron are doing a really good job on this side. While Toonie and OG are also doing a really good job. I think everyone in this game is just playing really well outside of me and Zulan. Except I just have you know the better side um we get a really nice double kill over there that's basically gonna wrap up the game um this game honestly was toonie and og playing really well and then me just doing what i'm supposed to do i don't think putting a rico v rico on like in tribe situation is necessarily the best idea because i just don't think there's a way for that rico to win it's just way too hard i can stand wherever i want he only has two tiles in which he can stand in, and I can just shoot off a wall and bounce. Um, if you break a wall, if you send someone else at the start, there are, there are ways around it. But Rico v. Rico, it's just not it. There's no way to win that against a good Rico. I would never expect to beat Zulan like that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be set number four. It's going to be 2-2 right now. So let's hop into set number five. Let's show you guys what happened in, these, in this all-important set. All right, so here we go into the fifth set of the match, the all-important set, and it's going to be on Hot Potato, which is a pretty cool map. I don't know. I like Hot Potato. I don't mind it at all. Obviously, both teams are going to play Brock. It's broken. I really like their comp. I like their comp a ton. I think they have the probably the best comp on the map, I'd say. reason it's so good is because Rico's so good on this map. 
Brock is so good on this map. And then you just give them the Ruffs power up. And it's just like an auto win. It's so good. Um, as long as you don't waste it. That's the important part. We're going to show you guys a little bit of that later on in the game. Um, but all Tyrant really has to do is tie his lane. Give his teammates the power ups. And they win. That's really all they have to do. Um, it's a really good comp. I really, really like it. I've seen them play it before. We elected to go with Bell because we were far more comfortable with this with this comp, I don't know, we thought it was smarter, we thought it was a little bit better. We thought if they run tanks, we auto win. If they run this comp, we have a fight, a pretty good fighting chance because the bell is good into roughs. Um, and if they have a thrower, we're screwed. That's basically what we thought. Um, but, you know, we faced a comp that it was kind of 50-50 into, so it was whatever. Um, I overextend here, I die. I got 17% a little bit earlier on in the game. I've, mi I've missed a lot here. Um, Zar gets a really nice clip over there. Corey gets a kill, so the game is starting to break down a little bit. Also, I'm on rocket number four because I just forgot to change star powers. I'm not very intelligent with that. Zar asks for a wall break. Now, this is the turning point of the game, and Corey is probably pissed at this. There is no way this first rocket should have hit by me. There is no shot. Corey was probably like so lost in the in his team call. Like, th look at this. That shot did not hit. But either way, they get very very little value out of their power up. Uh, we were able to get the, a really, really clutch two-tap over there. Um, and now we're just trying to hold. We're, we have really good positioning. We don't want to give Tyrant another power-up. Zara is doing an incredible job over there on the right side, just playing really passive, not allowing Tyrant to get that power-up, because that's the game-changer right there. And now Tyrant's obviously a really good player. He's going to get his power-up one way or another, whether it's on Zara, whether it's sneaking on OG or sneaking on myself. Tyrant's going to find a way to get that power-up. Zara's trying to get the kill. He was so close, but he wasn't able to get it. He's just getting safe damage right now. Zulan goes for a clip. He wasn't able to get the kill. And now Zulan, or not Zulan, sorry. Tyrant's able to take out Zar, but Zar is also able to take out Tyrant. So they only got one power up this game. They're moving up. They need a lot of damage, roughly 30%, 29, I think. I don't know, quick maths. Hopefully I'm right. It would be pretty embarrassing if I wasn't. But we're able to get the kills. We're able to take the W, and that is going to be game one in a basically flawless game by us. Really well played by all three of the members on our team. Let's move on to game number two. Show you guys what happened. All right, so going into game number two, which is now the match point for us. We elect to go with the same comp. OG likes Bell. I like Brock. Zara likes Rico. Good enough for us. Now, I did, you know, kind of say, you know, maybe Dynamite can work. But I think I got ignored. I don't even think anyone responded to that. Um, but yeah, I whatever. It's mirror comps. They liked our comp, so they're going to go it. Um... I'm going to tie with Tyrant at the start. Now, Zulon, I think this is kind of a misplay. He could just be shooting the safe right now, but he's trying to make a play right here with his gadget. And, I mean, theoretically, it's a good idea, but I think a lot of time was wasted, and he ended up going down only doing 1%. Um, I liked his idea. It's probably something I would have done because, you know, players who are not... I, I, the word I'm going to use is flashy, but it's not like... It's like players that can do and make crazy plays always want to do and make crazy plays. So I would probably have done the same thing, but obviously it, it didn't work out right there. Nonetheless, he has position. He hits a good super on us over there. He gets us pretty low, and they're winning the game by 16% at the moment. Um, he, I'm going to get him to one shot. He's going to go in that corner. He's he, he likes that corner. I cannot hit him in that corner. He, he goes there a lot in the last game and this game. He really likes that corner, but uh, OG's gonna get marked. They're doing a really good job. Tyrant's gonna step on a trap, which is gonna allow us to get the kill. And now since I'm using Incinerary, I do, surprise, surprise, a lot of damage. So one second of me on the save did, with a, a few shots by Zar, it's not just me, did almost, well, it did do 25%. I guess I almost did 25%. So now we're only down by 7%. OG's doing a really good job of just holding the mid while not going down, but while also having some pressure, you know, just not allowing them to shoot our safe. And right here, I get a really nasty two-tap on Zulon. And what this allows me to do is just move up the map over here on the left side. And now, obviously, I'm our team's DPS. So I get one shot, two shot, and then a super off. And that's going to give us a pretty thick lead. Zara also gets, I believe, two clips now, three clips onto the safe. So we got a good amount of damage. We now have a 22% lead. Now I go down. Zara goes down. They got three guys on the map right now. So 20 seconds left. This is where they have to make their push. Again, OG, last one alive, just stands his ground. Doesn't go over aggressive. Doesn't let them walk up. He just stands his ground. That's exactly what he's supposed to do. Tyrant hits trap. So all of us obviously shoot at him. 
Corey's walking through the mid. We're going to focus him as he is their DPS. And then Zara is going to take out Zulon. We're going to do a little bit of a spin. Um, not really out of toxicity. Just out of, you know, we're happy we won. They're obviously the, the best team in North America and have been for the last year and a half. So it's cool that we've been beating them in now our third straight time in a row. It's nothing negative on them. I think it just speaks to how we're growing as a team and how we are doing a lot better. But every single match is so close. It's, it takes a lot out of us. Like we're all just tired and we don't want to play the game. We're mentally exhausted by the time we're done. But that is going to be it. We're going to take the W and we're going to win Queso Cup Division. I don't know what it's called. Like, I don't know what this edition is called, but we won. Really cool. Now, we, I personally am a bit salty because I think we gave them two free sets. We cannot ever be doing that against Tribe. But nonetheless, I think we played really good. A lot of mistakes that we can improve on, but we did really well. And that is going to be it for the video. So if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. You guys already know, but that's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.